Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another food shopping haul for you and I'm gonna take you through what I buy for my family of five to eat over the course of a week. So I've been to Tesco and I didn't actually buy as much as I normally do and you'll see why in the video. Rather than making a meal plan and shopping to that, I've looked around the house and kind of shopped to that. So I'll show you what I've got in and then I'll take you through what I bought in Tesco. If you're new here then welcome. I do these videos every single week. I also do lots of recipes, cook with me's, what's for dinner videos, all that kind of thing, slow cooker videos, air fryer videos. So if you're not already subscribed, please make sure you go and do so. And if you hit the notification bell, you will always be notified when I upload a new video. So I tend to upload three times a week, which is Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 5 p.m. You can also keep up with me over on Instagram, it's just Victoria Folger. And I'm over there pretty much every day as well, and I post a lot of my food pictures and recipes on there too. So with all that being said, let's go and have a look at what I bought this week. So the reason that I didn't go mad on like the fruit and veg or any of the food really is because I've got so much in the house already that needs using up. So I thought I'd show you a few bits that I've already got in my cupboards and then it kind of makes more sense with what I bought in Tesco. So this is like my fruit, veg, random drawer in the fridge. So I already had this full up. So we've got apples, pears, peppers, there's spring onions, carrots, tomatoes. Um, there's a couple of lemons at the bottom. There's more peppers and things. I think I said spring onions, didn't I? <laughs> so I've got those as well. So I've got all of that and in our fruit bowl, we've got oranges little baby easy peelers and also some bananas that really need using up so i might i'm either going to freeze those or put them in a smoothie and then this is my onions and potatoes i know everyone says don't keep onions and potatoes together but i've never really had an issue with it i mean my potatoes like grow eyes or whatever and whether i keep them with onions or not but i've got like about i don't know 12 onions in there i've got red potatoes under the red potatoes there's also some white ones there's garlic in there so that's all pretty much full up as well so i didn't need to buy any extra fruit or veg because you know it's just a waste i'm going to use all this up first we've got what we call our cereal sort of breakfast cupboard it's just like a store cupboard this is just things like porridges and ready brek and stuff that we just keep and we don't buy them every week it's just stuff we've got in pop tarts from the boys stocking at christmas because they very rarely eat them we've got two different cereals up there we've got two different cereals here and um, things like ice cream cones and ice cream sauce it's just your basic store cupboard stuff but this is where we keep all our bread and things like that so i think these aren't full up i know that they're very, they're all open and they leave the boxes open which drives me mad um, there's probably only like a bowl or so full in each but I'm determined to use them all up before we buy any more and then we've got this cupboard which has got as you can see tins and stuff in all from like previous shops so I didn't want to go and buy any more of this stuff I'm just going to try and use most of it up so we bought eggs but we already had eggs left as well so yeah we've got all of that stuff and then also I've got bits in the freezer so I've got like about four different half bags or quarter bags of oven chips open because for some reason we grab like a new one and then do you know what I mean everyone does it don't they we've got bags of like five chicken nuggets in a couple of fish fingers left there's you know there's various bags of frozen fruit floating around and things like one single pie on its own or something so like individual so yeah i just thought i'd take you through what i've already got in and show you that before we get into what i've bought for this week right so from tesco we have got some red grapes uh two cucumber romaine heart lettuce some sweet vine ripened tomatoes and avocado this is for a breakfast we're going to be making got some close cut mushrooms then we've got some sliced tikka and some spicy tripto. We wanted the pizza pepperoni, but they didn't have any um, at all. The whole like shelf of that was empty because we're going to be making our own pizzas this weekend. Um, the boys really like doing that. Well, Oscar does. <laughs> I've got some Lincolnshire sausages to have in some bagels. Some of these cheese and bacon sausage rolls because they sound strange, but they were on the club card offer for a pound and the boys really like those. Some cheesy garlic slices to go with dinner tonight, which is going to be spaghetti. Two of the ready rolled pizza dough because this is only £1.30 and it's just really good. It saves all the hassle and you still get to put your own toppings on, which is good. So we're also going to be having some Frank's Red Hot Chicken Wings. I have actually done a cook with me or I've done like a recipe for this in my latest air fryer video. I'll leave that link down below if you haven't seen it. They go really, really well in the air fryer, just like the ones you get from Domino's when you order them from there. 
some Haribo, this was only £1.60 and you get 400 grams so it works out even better than buying the bags and we can just open that and share it for like movie night. Some free range eggs, got some yoghurt breaks, some Kit Kats, these are on the club card deal for a pound and these are also on the club card deal for a pound, these are the Belvita breakfast biscuits. We got some of this Castello tickler cheese, this is one of my favourite cheeses and it was only £2, again on the club card thing. Some wafer thin cooked ham and two of the mozzarella and cheese mix. This is really good for pizzas as well because it's already grated and you can just sprinkle it over. Corn beef is for our spaghetti for dinner. I've got some crushed chilies because we've run out of those. Bottle of Franks to make the wings with. We've got two onion and garlic like pasta sauce because it's a lot quicker than making your own when you're in a rush. Got one of these little oils. This is a Fox and Ivy unwind scented oil. I don't know if we can focus on it. Um, it was only a couple of pound, and I'm gonna pop it in my sort of diffuser. The camera does not want to focus. And yeah, I just thought it was good for two pound. I got a vanilla and honey candle which was a pound, and a Black Brim Bay Fox and Ivy. Um, it's not my favourite like, place to buy the Blackberry and Bay. The, my favourite one is from Aldi because this isn't as strongly scented. But for £4 it's still a really nice candle and it burns for a long time. Got two coconut milk to go in our coffees. And a semi-skimmed milk for like cereal and things. Some crisps. So we've got oven baked Walker's... Um, I don't know, just potato snacks, <laughs> oven baked crisps. Some hula hoop puffs. We've got the beef ones and the salted, and they were a pound each. Bottle of Pinot Grigio because it is Friday. I got a double strength orange and mango, and a double strength summer fruits. We've got some chilies also to go on our pizza and anything else. We put them on pretty much everything. I don't know if I said the mousse. We've got some Rolo mousse and some Milky Bar mousse. They were doing these there. Four little pots in there for a pound at the moment. Got some Muller Light. I absolutely love these and so does Steve. Rhubarb and crumble flavoured and they're still doing their eight for three pounds. So we've got those. I'm really pleased to see that I don't know how long they've been doing these, probably ages, but the New York Bakery Co. are now doing deli bagels and they're four cheese ones and they look really, really good. But I've noticed that they're the same price as all their other bagels, but you only get four instead of five in a pack just because they've put a bit of cheese on. So that seems a little bit of a con. But there you go. So we've got two of those because we're a family of five and now one packet is no longer enough. Toilet bowls, just standard toilet tissue. We go through loads in this house. Some spiral pasta. And then last but not least from Tesco, just some noodles that the boys can have for lunches as a snack. We put chopped veg in them and things. And then you just give them with a fruit and a, a piece of fruit and a yogurt. And that's them done for lunches. So that is everything I bought in Tesco. So that is it for this video. I'm not going to be running through my meal plan for next week like I usually do, just because I haven't really got one. Like I said, I tried to shop to what I've got in the house rather than to a meal plan this week. So I will put together what I can out of the food I've got and then it will all be in upcoming Meals of the Week videos so you'll be able to see what I've made. So I hope everyone is doing okay and I'll be back really, really soon with another video. Take care, guys.